Hello and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am thrilled to have been able to partner up with Vinteria to show you guys some of the new and unique pieces that we have added to our home. Now, for anyone who's not familiar with Vinteria, it's a pre-owned marketplace for vintage and antique furniture. And actually it's not limited to furniture. As you'll see in today's video, I've got some lighting and some decorative items to show you guys as well. And you'll find all kinds of different pieces you'll find like, old film posters, artwork, like vintage signs, all kinds of really cool and unique pieces which can add a really personal touch to your home. And for those of you who are taking part in Secondhand September or perhaps just those of you in general who prefer to buy pre-owned regardless of the month, then Vinteria is another source or another website to add to your list if you're in the market for adding things to your home in a much more planet friendly way. Right, so I've got five items or rather five purchases because one of which is a pair to share with you guys today. The first of which is this French 19th century walnut vessel. Could be a jug, could be a pot. I would say it's probably more of a jug. Um, but these were very common in the 1800s, and as the name would suggest, they were used to transport walnut oil, which was very commonly used back in those days. And these make great what I like to call shelf fillers or just decorative items in general. Now, old walnut oil vessels are quite easy to find because as mentioned, they were quite common. So that makes them, I would say, quite affordable. If you spend a little bit of time going through the pages of vintage, you can refine your search as well and add in a price cap if you so choose. You can actually find them at a very affordable price. And whilst I'm sort of on the topic of price, that's something that I wanted to just raise with regards to Vinteria. I think more often than not, there can be a bit of a stigma about antique and vintage pieces with them being incredibly expensive. And yes, granted, there are some things, whether they be rare items or whether they be from a certain designer or design house from a specific decade or era, if you will, if it comes to antiques, there will of course be those pieces which do carry a high price tag. However, there are more affordable items. So this jug in particular was under 50 pounds and actually there's a lot of current and modern retailers which are reproducing this kind of antique pottery and they're retailing for more, in fact, considerably more than what you can pick up an actual antique for. So it's really a no brainer. You may as well just buy the antique piece of pottery. It's a much fairer price and obviously better for the planet. Okay, whilst we're on the topic of pots or whilst we're in the category of pottery, I have another two uh, vessels, jugs, vases, whatever you'd like to call them here. These two actually came as a set. They were produced in Germany in the 1970s by Worms of Terra Sigliata. And again, these make just another great shelf filler. And I bought these with the kitchen shelf behind me in mind, which is actually where I've just taken them from. Um, because they were black in colour, they were quite small, even though they've got the sort of antique vibe to them, they also look a little bit minimalist and I just thought that they wouldn't dominate because of their size, they wouldn't dominate the shelf but they would again just add a little touch of interest and as you can see in this larger one here, I did actually have some baby's breath in um, a bunch of flowers that I had for my birthday and baby's breath dries really nicely and it sort of has quite a lot of longevity to it even if you keep it in there without any water. So I just broke off a little stem and I've kept that in there just for a bit of styling on the shelf. Right, my next item was again in the more affordable category. It was under £25 and admittedly I might have been a bit premature with buying this because I bought this with our dining table in mind. Our dining table does not exist. We don't actually have our dining table yet. And it's a project, a big project, which is going to start in the dining area. And also the garage conversion is kind of one big project all starting together early November. So in my head, I had like a big dining table so that we could have friends over or family or friends and family, big sort of lunches and dinners and that kind of thing so that we can have larger gatherings and fit more people around the table. And so in my head, 
I have this vision of this big, hopefully like oak table that we can all sit around. And I just saw this on Vinteria and thought that this would be great. So it's quite unusual, mid-century in style. And actually, I'm just trying to remember the name of the designer, designed by John Eliasson, I think. Um, and he, I remember reading on the back, he was a designer living in Stockholm, which is very uh, apt for my style because I do like a very sort of Scandinavian twist on things. So this is a candle holder. And if I just split it up into the segments, it comes in four different segments. So you can actually rearrange this to create various different designs. And I just thought it would have been quite an interesting sort of table centerpiece that I could use and rearrange depending on how I was gonna arrange the table, the table that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> And also for under £25, I thought it was a really, really reasonable price um, for something which I sort of just instantaneously fell in love with. Right, now my next item, you guys will probably be able to see a little bit better in the cutaways, but I could just lift it up a touch so that you can see, um, is this beautiful tripod floor lamp. Now, I had originally been looking for a lamp for the TV area specifically, um, because we don't have, aside from the spotlights on the ceiling and we have a central light, which I think we're actually gonna remove, we don't have a light for that area. And that is where we do spend a lot of our evenings when we're watching the TV, or especially throughout summer, it'll be most of our evenings. More into the winter time, we'll probably use the um, lounge area where we've got the log burner so that we can have the fire on. It's nice and cozy and we play board games and that kind of thing. But definitely throughout, I would say, autumn, spring, summer, we are predominantly in the TV area. And so I was looking for a lamp and I was looking for vintage lamps very much with this sort of style of concertina and pleated shade. This is a style which I really like. Obviously, I do have a love of mid-century and I also have a love of Danish design. And it is very reminiscent of a Danish design house called Le Klint, which was established in 1943. So this lamp that I actually found is not a reproduction, but it is definitely inspired by, I think, designs like Le Clint, and so therefore that brings the price down considerably. However, there is absolutely zero compromise on style or on the quality of this particular item. And I think that goes for a lot of vintage and antique pieces in general. And so regardless of the fact that this isn't a Le Clint design, you can see the quality of the craftsmanship from the shade all the way down to the metalwork and how it's been wired. It's really, really beautiful. And it fits perfectly into our TV area. However, that said, I wouldn't be surprised if you see this lamp moving around in various areas of the house because it's um, very cohesive and it fits in with many of the spaces that we've almost semi-completed in the house. And I do like to swap things around from time to time just to give things a little bit of an update but without necessarily buying a new piece and getting rid of another piece. I like to just move things around the house and so I wouldn't be surprised if you saw this popping up in the lounge or perhaps in the bedroom or elsewhere. And finally, my last item, which is actually a piece of furniture, it's just out of shot, it's just over to the side so you guys will be shown in the cutaways and it is a vintage G-Plan sideboard, which has been upcycled. And actually that's done me a favor because G-Plan were um, renowned for using woods like teak and olive wood. This one here in particular is olive wood. And these tones of wood aren't necessarily the sort of um, tones that I was looking for for this area. So as you can see, it has been upcycled. It's been painted black. And also the legs have been changed to black metal legs. Now G plan was really popular in the mid 20th century. So there's definitely no shortage of it on the pre-owned market. And you can pick it up quite affordably as well. And you don't have to just leave it as is, whether you want to restore something to its original sort of vintage glory, 
or if you wanted to use a piece of G-Plan to upcycle like our cabinet has been, you can really sort of use your creative mind to think about various different ways how you could upcycle that piece so that it fits in more with your interior taste. And just to touch on price again, this is a well-made vintage piece of furniture and it came in well under the under £500 category. And if mid-century is your vibe, you honestly can't be a bit of G-Plan. So get on Vinteria and check out some of their G-Plan. Right, thank you very much for tuning in to today's video and for coming to have a little nosy to see some of the new pieces we've picked up for the house. And you will have seen a few little snippets as well of some of the sort of mini updates that we've done, things like the shelf. Although still a little bit unfinished, we need to do a few paint touch-ups. Um, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Home renovations, I know many of you feel our pain. Now I have linked some similar categories from the Vinteria website to coincide with the items that I've shown you guys in today's video. So I would highly recommend, even if you're just going for a little browse, Check out Vinteria if you are in the market or you're thinking of adding some new items to your home because you can really find some unique pieces that aren't just mass made that everyone else has got. And it adds a really nice kind of personal touch and you might even get a little bit of history in there as well. And one more thing that I just wanted to mention as well, which I found really useful when I was looking for items on Vinteria and that is the uh, ability to refine your search. So as I mentioned earlier, you can obviously do a price cap so that you're not going over your set or specific budget and you can refine items by region. So all of the items that I featured in today's video were all from UK sellers. Obviously the advantage of buying from a seller who is within your own country is uh, reasonable shipping rates. You're gonna obviously not be paying as much for your postage. Right, thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time.